this is Riya and in this program I am going to explain how to write the code for this pattern. So for this we have to declare some of the variables such as i, j, k and l. And for writing the code for this pattern we, have, we, require, we need one outer for loop and three inner for loops. The outer for loop letters for i is equal to 1, i less than equal to 5, i plus plus. So this condition is checked whether 1 is less than or equal to 5. Since this condition is true, we come inside of this outer for loop that is for uh, and uh, the first inner for loop that is for j is equal to 5, i, j greater than or equal to 1 and j minus minus. So this condition is checked whether 5 is greater than or equal to 1. Since this condition is true, 1 space is printed. Now j becomes 4 and 4 is greater than or equal to 1. Since this condition is again true, again a space is printed. So uh, in this way, four spaces will be printed until unless this condition becomes false. So when j becomes zero, that is zero is greater than or equal to one. Since this condition becomes false, so we come out of this particular for loop and then we move on to the second inner for loop that is for l is equal to one, l less than or equal to i, and i l plus plus. So first of all, this condition is checked whether one is less than or equal to i. So i's initial value is one. Since this condition is true, we come inside of this for loop and the first thing that is happening inside of this for loop is L is incremented by one value. Initially, the value of L is 1. So, uh, it becomes 2 and then a space is printed. Okay, And then the value of I is printed. Now, L becomes 2. Sorry, 3. Already we had incremented L by 1. So, it became 2 and now again it is incremented to 3 now 3 is less than or equal to i since this condition is false so we come out of this particular for loop and then we move on to the third inner for loop that is for k is equal to 2 k less than or equal to i and k plus plus now in the beginning itself this condition has become false that is 2 is less than or equal to 1 since this condition is false so none of the statements which is present inside this particular for loop will be executed and uh, this see out statement will direct us to the next line. Now i becomes 2 and 2 is less than or equal to 5. This condition is true. So we come inside of this for loop and now again this uh, first inner loop will be executed that is for j is equal to 5. j is less than or equal to i. So this time i's value is 2 and then j minus minus. So since this condition is true again a space is printed. So similarly here three spaces will be printed and after j becomes 1, so 1 is greater than or equal to 2. This condition becomes false, so this space won't be printed. So in total, 3 spaces will be printed. So after this condition becomes false, we will come out of this particular for loop and then we move on to the second inner for loop that is for l is equal to 1, l less than or equal to i and l plus plus. So here, first of all, l is equal to 1, so 1 is less than or equal to 2. This condition is true. So we come inside of this for loop and L is incremented by one value. So L becomes 2 and then a space is printed and after this statement I is printed. Now L is incremented again by one value so L becomes 3. So 3 is less than or equal to 2. This condition is false. So we come out of this for loop and then we move on to the second sorry third inner for loop that is for k is equal to 2. K is less than or equal to i and k plus plus. So uh, 2 is less than or equal to 2. This condition is true. So k, uh, k is incremented by one value that is k becomes 3 and then a space is printed and then um, the following statement that is i is printed. Now k becomes 3. Sorry, k becomes 4 and then this condition is checked whether 4 is less than or equal to i that is um, 4 is less than or equal to 2 since this condition is false so it comes out of this particular for loop and then this see out statement is executed that is um, which again directs us to the next line so similarly again now i becomes 3 and uh, 3 is less than or equal to 5 this condition is true so we come inside of this for loop and then we find the first in our for loop that is for j is equal to 5 j is greater than or equal to i now this time i's value is 3 so j minus minus so since this condition is true again so a space is printed so this time in total two spaces will be printed now when uh, j's value 
becomes 2 so this condition becomes false and then we come out of this for loop and then we move on to the second inner for loop that is for l is equal to 1 l is less than equal to i l plus plus so this time l is l l's value is 1 1 is less than equal to 3 this condition is true so l's value is incremented by 1 that is l becomes 2 and then a space is printed and then i is printed now l becomes 3 3 is also less than equal to 3 so this condition is true so again i is printed sorry before i is printed a space is printed and then i is printed so then we come out of this particular for loop once the condition becomes false and then in the same way this uh, for loop again is executed and then we move on to the next line as directed by this C out statement then similarly uh, when i equal to 4 when i equal to 4 the other statements which is present inside this out of for loop will be executed and then this uh, all the statements that is present inside this out of for loop will be executed until and unless this uh, condition becomes false once this condition will be will become false none of the statements which is present inside this particular for loop will be executed so now let us see how the output comes see uh, the desired output has come thank you if you want it has, uh, I mean, if you want it to be only four rows, then we can change the value over here. That is, we can give it as four. So then it will display only up to four. So this is the desired output. So the program is successfully compiled and executed. Thank you.